Hello friends, this video on light part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, when we talk about images, we talk about two types of images, real images and virtual images. And it is very important to understand the difference between the two. Just look at these two pictures on the screen. So, they are basically kind of ray diagrams. So, what can we infer from these two scenarios? So let's call this as the first scenario and let's call this as the second scenario. So in the first scenario, we see that some rays of light, these are the arrow tells us which ones are the incident rays and which ones are the reflected rays. So all the rays which are coming towards the mirror, they are the incident rays. So you see some incident rays in this scenario after reflection. So these are the reflected rays and all the reflected rays are meeting at this point and this is where the image is formed. So what happens in this case? In this case, we see that the reflected rays actually meet. So the reflected rays here actually meet. Correct? In this case. But if you look at scenario 2, what do you see? That after these are the incident rays again and these are the reflected rays. But after reflection, they do not appear to meet ever. So what we do is we just uh, try to meet them towards the back side but with dotted lines and that's where they meet and that's why the image is formed here. So in this case the reflected rays do not meet actually but they appear to meet at this point. So reflected rays in this case appear to meet. So based on whether the reflected rays actually meet or the reflected rays appear to meet, we have two types of images, real image and virtual image. So real image is formed when reflected rays actually meet. So this is a scenario of the real image and this image can be obtained on the screen. Now since in this case the object is also on this side, the image is also on this side. So the image is actually formed on the same side as that of the object. So therefore in this case the image can be easily captured on a screen. Whereas when you talk about a virtual image, in this case the object is on this side of the mirror, the image is on this side of the mirror. So the image is actually formed on the other side of the mirror. So here you cannot obtain it on a screen. For example, when you stand in front of uh, the mirror in your dressing table, you are able to see your image which is formed on the other side of the mirror. But can you capture your image on a screen? No, of course not, because in this case a virtual image is formed. So that is the basic difference between real image and virtual image. So whenever you talk about a real image, the rays, the reflected rays rather, would actually meet. But when you talk about a virtual image, the reflected rays would appear to meet. So that's the difference. Now did you observe another important difference in these two diagrams? So see in the second diagram what you have is of course a plain mirror as, you, as is very much evident from the picture itself. But when you look at scenario 1, you see that a mirror is not a plain mirror because the surface is kind of curved. So this is actually a spherical mirror. So it is not a plain mirror, rather a spherical mirror. Mirror. So we are going to discuss about spherical, mi spherical mirror in more detail in the next section. But what I am trying to say is depending upon how the reflection is happening, we, we will get the type of image. So if the reflection is happening in such a way that the rays will meet actually at a point, so we will get a real image. And in this case, if you see the image is inverted, in this case the image is erect. So this is how the object was. And the image is also formed exactly like the object. But in this case, you see the image is inverted. It is like reversed. So, so again, all these things depend on what type of mirror is being used and how the reflection process is taking place. So the variety of images that can be formed using mirrors. Now again, mirrors are also of a variety of types. It can be plain mirror, it can be a spherical mirror. Again, spherical mirror are also of two types. It can be a concave mirror, it can be a convex mirror. So we will talk about them later. But depending upon the type of mirror that is used and the way reflection is taking place, we can say that the images can image formed will either be real or virtual. So it will be real when the reflected rays actually 
physically meet at a point, it will be virtual when the reflected rays appear to meet at a point. The image could be inverted or erect. So inverted as you can see here. So you see the image is inverted, it is not straight. Or the image could be erect as you can see here. The third thing is the image could be magnified, that is the size of the image could be more than that of the size of the object. The image could be diminished, that is it could be smaller in size than the object or it could be of the same size as that of the object. So here you see the object and the image both are of the same size. In this case if you see the image is smaller than that of the object, so it actually depends. It depends on a lot of factors like it depends on the type of mirror which is being used for reflection to take place because that only decides where exactly the reflected rays would meet. So normally it has been observed that real images are mostly inverted. So whenever you have real images they are inverted and the virtual images are mostly erect. So these are some of the observations. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.